It really hurts me to say this because, as you know, we're all chums here on this channel. And I like to be honest and fair with you. And, you know, the bottom line is what I see is what I report. And more importantly, it's interesting because, as I say to you, this is what I found. You don't need to take my word for it. It is important, as I say, to share with each other. Now look at these particular scenes here. This is what happened on Saturday in the very heart of London. This is, of course, not just one, but about four or five protests blocking all the main roads, all the main streets, and terrifying quite a lot of people over here in the United Kingdom. It wasn't just in London, it happened in Manchester, up in Scotland, Birmingham too. Now, as you know, we're a free and liberal country over here in the United Kingdom. No two ways about it, whatever people say. It does all make me laugh when you have these people, particularly the gay movement, trying to talk about certain areas and you think, really? You think it's gonna be safe if you go over there? Not quite sure about that. But what is interesting is this. You'll see this particular picture here. This is the BBC that was defaced rather disgracefully, I felt, uh, on Saturday morning. But to the side of that is the very famous Langham Hotel. Beautiful building built in the Edwardian era and absolutely top draw, five star deluxe. Now, recently, our mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, was over in New York City, uh, basically plugging his climate rubbish and, of course, his book that he's got out, more conveniently. But there, on chat shows and anybody who would have him, saying, oh, come to London, it's open, we're welcoming, we're ready for business. But this is a man in charge of the city, of London. You know, look at those pictures. Now, I had a meeting over in that particular area on Saturday. Couldn't get to it. And, of course, had to contact the person I was meeting who was at the hotel. They were absolutely terrified because they couldn't go outside. And, obviously, people couldn't get in. This was the view from their window. So, imagine this. You come to London, you've treated yourself, and you've spent a lot of money, say, staying in a five-star deluxe hotel. You look out the window, and there's that. Now, the reason why I highlight this is this. While the mayor continues to ignore the way that, you know, obviously these particular demonstrations should be dealt with, perhaps the use of water cannons, uh, a cut-off time, say 5 p.m., lots of people lost a lot of business. All the major stores that are suffering in the cost of living crisis. The theatres where people simply did not turn up for fear of not being able to get to see the evening performances of their favourite shows like Phantom or Les Mis. And the reason why I say do be careful is if you come into London, there's more and more of this developing. But seemingly there's more and more of the lack of, shall we say, responsibility from the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, to try and water this down. Obviously, he likes it, you know, it makes him feel important. While he ignores things like the beleaguered transport system and the rising crime here in the very heart of London, he's always ready to pop up and offer a political opinion that nobody cares about. But truly, if you were staying at the Langham, would you be happy with this view? As ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. You're shown in the very heart of London.